Hi, everybody. Uh, today I'm at the John Wesley Powell River History Museum and uh, I'm gonna check out we're in uh, Green River, Utah and I'm gonna check out about this guy and what he did and what they've done. So I'll take you along. So John Wesley Powell was born in Mount Morris, New York, which is not that far from where I grew up. Um, he was born on March 24th, 1834. And his schooling was informal and regular and through tutoring and field experience, um, he learned the basics of geology, archeology span and biology. And in 1851, he left home to teach school. So uh, back in the day, you could be self-taught. Um, Six months after joining the infantry for World, for uh, the Civil War, he married his first cousin, Emma Dean, who would accompany him in many of his Western travels. Okay, quick, a little bit about uh, Powell, that he enlisted in the um, Union Army in the Civil War, and he was, by October of 61, he was promoted to captain. Um, he, early in his career, he fortified a, a town in the Mississippi River, gave Grant a tour, um, but he was, um, let's see, in, uh, in April 60, of 1862, he became involved in the Battle of Shiloh in southern Tennessee. In the early afternoon, he was shot through his right wrist and forearm, and two days later, he uh, had his right arm was amputated above the elbow. So you can imagine with that, uh, he did some things that I can't imagine trying to do with two arms, much less one, but um, he became uh, very interested in the natives when he came out here and got to know them and treated them fairly and he was widely respected by the tribes, and in later years he was known as Cooperettes, or Arm Off, by the Utes and the Shoshone. And he served as director of uh, Bureau of American Ethnology under the Smithsonian Institution um, to study the tribes out here. He was primarily a uh, professor of geology at Illinois before the war, um, I think, and uh, his primary objective is in his river expeditions was to study the geology of the Colorado River region, and um, he did so during uh, his ex explorations, but as a result of his lobbying, the federal government created the U.S. Geological Survey in 1879, and in 1881 he was named director of that survey, a post he held until 1894. Now, I'll, we can think of John Wesley Powell and his expedition of uh, first to navigate down the Green River and later uh, through the Grand Canyon. He wasn't the first one to try uh, coming down the river in uh, 1825, so 40 something years earlier. Um, a trapper named William Ashley decided to. Uh, use to try to use the rivers for uh, travel and he used the bull boat which is what this is um, it's basically a buffalo hide stretched across a framework of sticks um, think of it like a uh, rounded or like a half a ping pong ball floating in the water uh, they aren't easy to steer they capsize easily they are not suited for uh, you know, rough rivers, and um, then in uh, this other one here, they got like a dugout, which is pretty cool. You can still see like the axe marks in it, and obviously this one is mostly rotted away, but um, it was a guy. Let's see, William Manley was a 49er and he was trying to use the rivers to find a fast route to, Cal to California and um, tried using a renovated ferry boat 
it sunk. Um, it was busted up in, um, at the, what was the name of the falls? Uh, Ashley Falls. And so they cut down a couple of big pine trees and made dugouts. Not, this is not one of them, probably. And um, tried to use those to finish their trip down the river. And they got as far as United Basin where they pulled out. So this is Green River, Wyoming in 1869. And the, uh, that was where his first expedition started out. As a, brought the boats in, shipped in by rail. And they started off two weeks after the driving of the Golden Spike at uh, Promontory Point, which I visited mm, last year. And the, um, they started on May 24th, right? And they went out with um, four boats. And the no name, which you'll see in a minute, or is uh, hit a boulder and disaster falls and broke apart. They lost half their food and half their mess kit, their, their cooking gear, and or a third of it, sorry, to the bottom. The crew was saved, but a week later, the sparks from their campfire igniting nearby bushes, starting a forest fire that forced them to run and lost most of the rest of the cook gear. And then uh, on August 28th, several after disputes with Paul, three of the crew members decided to leave the expedition and hike out. And a few days later, they were killed by Indians and the remainder of the crew continued on the river and two days later reached the mouth of the Virgin River, finding a group of Mormons who provided them with food. So his first expedition basically turned into a fight for survival. Um, he knew he still wanted to uh, um, explore more. He really fell in love with the whole idea. Um, he was a professor of geology and, um, and came out west to collect samples for his his school and just once he saw the rivers and stuff he decided to uh, give it a you know do some exploring and this is a replica of the no name which was uh, part of uh, John Wesley Paul's first voyage down the green Colorado rivers it broke in two while attempting to navigate uh, fall in the canyon of Lodor, the upper green, and much of the cargo was lost, but none of the lives. So um, this is what the boats that he took down the river look like. Sort of, when you compare this to the ones that came later, definitely uh, clunkier, I think. This is a, a Galloway boat named after um, Nathan or Nathaniel, sorry, Galloway, and his was lighter and a flat bottom, and um, he faced downriver, I think. Um, oh, he faced, yeah, he faced forward and rode the boat that way so he could see what was coming at him, and obviously had uh, somewhat watertight compartments. But this was built in the like 1890s, 1900, right around then, uh, many years after. Powell and his crews went down. So Norm Nevels uh, was a river guide in eighteen or nineteen thirties, and he made some improvements on the Galloway boat, which is back there. And you can see the difference in like the bow has got more of a rake. Same with the stern, still had the flat bottom. But he made his out of plywood because, well, at that point it was available, and. Um, this was a better suited for running the rougher rivers. Again, that rake is going to help you carry up and, and over some of the standing waves and stuff. So once again, they started out in Green River, Wyoming, and this is a picture of them um, at 10 a.m. on May 22, 1871, when they started their second expedition with uh, only three boats this time, uh, manned by 11 men. And 
the um, pole was perched on an armchair. I don't know if that, uh, that's an oar, but they had an armchair uh, strapped in for him. And here they are in the uh, canon of Lador. Uh, I think it's pronounced in June 1871. And uh, another picture of that. And in August of 1872 is when they reached the Grand Canyon. Um, Powell on this one spent a lot more time exploring and um, it was a little, it was more leisurely. They took their time and didn't try to, you know, push it. And he spent a lot of time traveling to nearby settlements um, on various errands. It said he did at one point he um he left and um went back to try to get more funds and when he came back um and then they get run the grand canyon and the um some of his crew left um by then he but when he um Went through the Grand Canyon. Uh, they stopped uh, on September 7th of that year and decided to leave the river. And uh, his crew was very happy about that because they've been out there a long time. I mean, they started the year before, right? In May of 71. This is September of 1872. So, all right. I think this is going to wrap up my stay here. And, uh, this is the Green River, and obviously not, it's flowing. It's, you know, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really moving right along. Um, green is the biggest tributary for the uh, Colorado River, and uh, where they come together is, it used to, it's Colorado above the confluence of this, the Green River was called the Great River. And they didn't until uh, John Wesley Powell's expeditions and a few others, they didn't really know. Okay, this is the town of Green River, Utah, not the Green River, Wyoming, where they started their expeditions. That's that away. Um, it's well worth the visit if you happen to be passing through this area. And uh, I'm going to get back on the road. You all stay safe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Yeah. There's a pictures of some of the guys that uh, ones available that of his some of his second crew. Um, these guys were handpicked, and um, this guy was only 17 when they did this, but he picked them because they were college educated for the most part, uh, sober, scientifically minded veterans, where his first one, his first expedition, uh, was a lot of rough and tumble frontiersmen and um, his brother was well among them. His brother was in a Confederate prisoner war camp and he, um, it really affected his mind. So he um, brought him along hoping that the, out in the West and would help clear his, his brother's mind and make him whole again. No, don't know whether it did.